delivery vans, passenger shuttles, business vans and MPVs. All these vehicles have long become the usual feature of the modern city suburbs landscape. So there is no wonder why the electrification tide is consuming them along with the rest of the transport on the roads. In this episode of Automotive Territory, we'll be revisiting the topic of electric vans, revealing the all-new models within the segments that are standing at the roots of the inner city transportation revolution. Subscribe to our channel and let's take another dose of electrified knowledge. Enjoy the ride! Mercedes EQV the portfolio of Mercedes-Benz electric vehicles is expanding at a noticeable pace across all classes, and in 2020 it is being joined by the EQV luxury MPV. Basically, it is an electric version of the Mattress aka Vito van that sits 8 passengers. It is underpinned by a compact electric drivetrain with 204 horsepower at the front axle and a 90 kWh battery. The realistic range is somewhere near 225 miles, plus there is a smart onboard 11 kW water-cooled rapid charger which enables AC charging both at home and at the public stations. Since the battery sits under the floor, the interior space is unrestricted and allows to fully implement the progressive luxury approach shared across all EQ models. The cockpit uses the new intuitive MPUX infotainment system and a digital dashboard, equipped with innovative connectivity features and self-learning voice control. Volkswagen eCrafter While VW has several electric fan models that are still in their concept or prototype stages, the EV version of the large Crafter has already been in production for two years, since 2018. Before hitting the market, the model went through intense testing by the Europe's 25 leading delivery and logistics companies, which ruled that it was more than capable for everyday driving conditions and short-range cargo hauling. The eCrafter received a front-mounted electric motor with 136 horses and 214 pound-feet of torque. Its 35.8 kW battery allows for 95 miles of driving and is compatible with 40 kW fast chargers, ensuring that you can replenish 80% of its capacity in 45 minutes. Buyers should also take into account that this all-electric VW offers standard 363 cubic feet of cargo volume but is rated for less payload weight, either 1 or 1.75 tons, down from up to 3 tons for the gasoline model. Fiat Ducato Electric The first all-electric vehicle from Fiat Professional will join the updated Ducato family for the 2020 model year. As claimed by the manufacturer, the new van does not compromise on utility despite having to accommodate a rather large battery pack. The latter statement sounds trustworthy, as the Ducato Electric, if ordered in the largest body configuration, will boast of up to 600 cubic feet of load volume and up to 4,300 pounds of payload. The model is powered by a 122 horsepower e-motor that delivers 206 pound-feet of torque, while the top speed is limited to 62 miles per hour to conserve the battery. Depending on the modification, the new Ducato will have between 95 and 156 miles of range per charge. The list of the standard equipment, as well as the starting price tag, are yet to be announced, while the model is set to go on sale in the mid-2020. Canoe this MPV is probably the most unorthodox one on this list, not only due to its futuristic design, but also the new form of subscription-only ownership. Canoe was founded in 2017 by the former BMW and Faraday Future executives Stefan Krauss and Ulrich Kranz. Their creation is riding on a skateboard platform that integrates an 80 kWh pack aiming for up to 250 miles of range and 30 minutes fast charging. There is a single 300 horsepower motor propelling the rear wheels, but the chassis also supports front and dual motor all-wheel drive configurations. The canoe sits 7 but still keeps 15.4 cubic feet of cargo space. Plus, the cabin is more of a lounge on wheels with a vast moonroof. For now, the driver's seat and the steering wheel are still in place, but the van is already pre-equipped with the level 4 autonomy hardware for the days to come. Renault Master ZE Available in two wheelbase lengths and four cabin sizes, the Master ZE is the largest electric van by Renault that debuted on the market in 2018. The model features a 33 kWh battery pack, comes equipped with a humble 76 horsepower electric motor and has the maximum speed of just 62 miles. 
The cargo capacity of the Electrofight version has the same parameters as the conventionally powered masters, so it can carry up to 1.1 tons of float. In early 2020, the van will also be released in a new hydrogen-powered version, equipped with a 10 kW hydrogen range extender and two 14-gallon tanks. With this setup, the model becomes 440 pounds heavier, though continues to offer the same cargo volume and is now able to cover longer distances, driving around 195 miles, up from just 67 miles for the purely electric master. Mercedes-Benz E-Sprinter The Sprinter is Mercedes's workhorse for the inner-city cargo hauling and concurrently one of the world's most popular camper van platforms. Its 2020 lineup was expanded to include an all-electric version E-Sprinter, which, judging by the announced specifications, will stay within the city limits as a delivery vehicle or a passenger shuttle, avoiding setting out on a camping adventure due to the limited range parameters. The van will be offered in two battery sizes, 41 and 55 kWh. The smaller variant should be able to cover 72 miles on a charge with up to 2,304 pounds payload capacity, while the larger pack sacrifices 340 pounds for the extended 93 miles of driving. Fortunately for the delivery fleets, the cargo volume was not affected by the electric powertrain, remaining at 370 cubic feet or 10.5 cubic meters and the potential buyers can use specially designed Mercedes software to determine whether going electric will create cost savings. Do not forget that spreading awareness about the electric vehicles is a combined effort, so make sure to watch this video till the end, leave a like, comment, and then share it with your friends. More electric content is waiting for you in the description. Let's keep going! VW ID Bus Cargo Considering that many of our viewers have already seen the passenger version of the ID bus, this time we decided to bring to your attention another upcoming electric VW. The cargo delivery model, based on the same platform, planned for the production in 2022, the cargo gets several specific updates, ranging from a solar roof to replenish 9.3 miles per day to smart workspace and a number of high-voltage power outlets to run tools. The van is slightly longer than the passenger ID bus, offering 1,760 pounds of payload capacity. The drivetrain setup is unchanged, combining a 204 horsepower electric motor, rear wheel drive, and several battery options, offering up to 304 miles of driving. Ford Transit Custom PHEV until the battery technology is improved, the limited range will be a shared downside of all electric vans. But we do recommend taking a look at one of the transitional solutions offered by Ford in the form of the Transit Custom PHEV. The electric range of this van is solid 31 miles, allowing it to operate within the low emission city areas. Plus, when the 1.0 liter EcoBoost engine kicks in, it extends the range tenfold to 310 miles. The Transit Custom is sold in three trim levels, Leader, Trend and Limited. Plus, there is a passenger to now custom plug-in version seating eight people. The workhorse is as practical as the internal combustion counterpart, keeping 2200 payload capacity and 212 cubic feet of cargo space. It is equipped with a voice-activated 8-inch SYNC 3 infotainment, there are active driver assistance features and electric power-assisted steering that is optimized for city driving. Street Scooter Despite its name, the German company Street Scooter actually specializes in building electric delivery vehicles and cargo vans. Its product range currently includes the Work, Work L and Work XL configurations. The modular chassis of the former two variants further expands the offering by the option between the box, pickup and pure badless configuration. Two battery sizes are on sale, 20 and 40 kWh with the conservative ranges. But these vehicles are already present on the roads and must be sufficient for the required tasks, carrying up to 2,500 pounds. The most capable XL truck is powered by a 76 kWh battery with a maximum range of 150 miles. But so far, it is exclusively manufactured for the Deutsche Post DHL Group. Man ETGE -E. Introduced in 2018, the all-electric version of the Mann van has won the 2019 ETM award as the best electric vehicle of its class. 
gradually gaining more popularity in the urban delivery niche. In 2020, the ETG is set to expand to the new markets, including the non-EU countries. The van is powered by a permanent magnet e-motor producing 136 horsepower and 214 pound-feet, available at any speed and at a full payload. The latter, by the way, is only 35% lower in comparison with the diesel model and is now claimed to reach 2,110 pounds. The estimated 64 miles of EPA range may look too modest, but according to MUN, around 70% of small commercial deliveries cover less than 62 miles per day. So, with a 7.2 kW charger on board and the standard fast DC charging, the ETG can easily provide inner city work. VW Type 20 This new electric van concept from VW commemorates the 20th anniversary of the company's R&D facility in Silicon Valley and marks its further reorganization into the company's largest innovation and engineering center outside Germany. Built on the basis of the 1962 Type 2, the model electrifies the old platform and connects it with the current reality by installing the latest infotainment, assistance and biometric identification tech. The Type 20 keeps the classic looks, but now comes juiced by a 10 kWh battery that runs the 120 horsepower motor and can be recharged using the 2.5 kW onboard charger. Though these figures do not sound too impressive today, you should note that the original Type 2 only packed 50 horses. The vehicle also gets an active pneumatic suspension co-developed with Porsche, while its smart digital assistant uses a 7020p wide-angle camera to recognize the owner. I do agree that some of these models have rather limited range and will be restricted to European markets, but their combined success will inevitably lead to another development spin in the EV segment. Check out other promising electric vehicles by following the links in front of you. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and support us with a like. As always, may the torque be with you!